Good evening. Welcome to the middle of the week. A uh, little over halfway there. So if, you're, if you're following the Monday to Friday work schedule, uh, about to start something new here. It's Grip Combat Racing, developed by Caged Ele Element Incorporated, published by Wired Productions. <laughs> It was because of this game I learned that there was apparently this uh, PlayStation racing series called Roll Cage, which was in a similar vein of Wipeout, in which you had like a crazy anti-gravity racing where you go up and down and all around. I know I've said that like in multiple places already, but <laughs> really it really do be like Wipeout, except instead of hover vehicles, everything's got wheels. And this is a spiritual successor to those games. Um... I just want to pay special note to this title screen here. You can see they were trying to go for a stylistic title screen where everything's in, in like that sort of exaggerated slow motion where parts of it are still going while other parts are... It looks like a diorama of sorts, right? You got the these unknown pumps here pumping whatever it is. You got the flag up here waving, the, the flare over here going off lights in the background are pulsating in the meantime these cars here frozen in time their jets are just taking them nowhere this car is in mid explosion about to fly away it's not sure what what i what to say about this it's, it's cool i guess <laughs> any case um i was messing with the settings earlier and trying to see if the controller works and no yeah, if you, you hang on the title screen too much, it starts going to like a old sizzle reel mode. <laughs> a little quirk of the old games of the old days. You leave them on the title screen long enough, they start going into sort of that um that attract mode, right? To show uh, examples of gameplay. Uh, <laughs> back then, it was a bit more of a practical use since uh, TVs back then were pretty susceptible to burn in, where if uh stayed on one image too long, would kind of get like burned into the screen you would see it even if you switched off to something else so the attract mode was kind of there not just to you know entice people to hey come play our game but also to make sure tvs don't do the burnout but these days it's i don't think it's quite as problematic i think certain types of monitors are still susceptible to burn in but uh most of the time it's it's not too much of an issue i think in any case uh, as I was saying before, uh, controller, yeah, doesn't work in the menus, but I went to the settings and noticed that they have alternative controller controls, so I'm hoping that this kind of stuff kicks in for single player because I really want to play this with a controller and not a keyboard. In fact, you know, I played through the entirety of Minute Club 2 after, like, the first stream with a controller because I could not... Because I did not, I should say. I could not. I... <laughs> I'm pretty sure people figured it out, just didn't get around to get, getting like X input to work or whatever with a controller. <laughs> Not that it matters, I had cheats and I cheated my way through it. Eh. As one would probably do in old days. In any case, we're gonna... Yeah, you know what? <laughs> this is my first time playing Gripped. Alright, we could just call it a tutorial, but yeah, sure, let's do it. I wonder if this will be a video or this will be like an interactive tutorial. I hope it's interactive. Most of these are interactive. I don't know why I'm saying it's not. No Burnout 3 starts with like a super long ass intro video before dropping you into the race. The grip is. Ah, here we go. Ah. I mentioned this game was created in Unreal Engine 4 and that's why you kind of see that texture pop in there. <laughs> Good sign a game is playing on Unreal Engine. You see that sort of texture load in from blurry to whatever. Oops. Forgot to read the intro. Alright, let's see if you can get a great start with boosted launch control by hitting the accelerated exact moment countdown ends on go. Get ready. Alright. Oh god, I forgot to see if I had to turn off rumble. Yeah, uh... Green energy pads like this one. Oh my god. Oh, for goodness sake, this this ain't what the heck. You have secondary controls here. I got I'm I'm using my controller. Why is that? Oh. 
I turned Force Rumble off. Yes, reset. Oh man. All ready to play this end. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I should have taken the menu thing as a sign that perhaps things are not quite as uh, on the up and up as I thought they were. Okay. Uh, give me a moment. I'm going to start messing with some stuff and see if I can get controller input to work.
All right, back. Thanks for waiting. Apparently, it was like switching it to Steam input <laughs> was was a fix. I hope. Uh, we're gonna, gonna see garage. Well, we'll go to a garage later. First, I want to go to campaign. Thankfully, the way to replay the tutorial. I was worried when I went back to single player. I was like, hey, it's no tutorial. But now I was like, yeah, all right, here we go. Okay. <laughs> Fingers crossed, maybe. Maybe we'll finally get to play this thing 25 minutes in. It's like six minutes away, so we're waiting, and then... On top of all that, and let's see. Oh yeah, okay. Hit the accelerator, exact moment, and countdown ends on go. So here it goes, nothing. Wheel spin it, that's already a good sign. Two, one, go! Hmm. Alright, hit the green energy pads like the one ahead, give your vehicle a boost. Let's go. I mean, I guess it went faster. Get a feel for Griff steering by trying to follow the other players. Now it's more sensitive, the slower you go, play for a moment. Also, this music's kind of loud. I already set this at like 30%. Might have to finagle with the settings a little bit more. Hmm. Hit the green pickup orbs like the ones ahead to give your vehicle an offensive or defensive capability. Steer towards one now. Alright. Like that one. Try using them against another player. Ah, okay. Because I have a machine gun. Heavy machine gun! Ah, like that. I guess there's like some sort of lag. Scorpion missile. Try using it. Left shift or pad L1. Listen yourself. Carefully increase the chances of a good shot. It's like a dumb fire rocket. Oh, look at me. Driving down the ceiling. Hey! Can use the scorpion to damage the scenery. Hit a pickup or orb. To collect the next pickup in the tutorial. Okay. Well, I guess I'll have to hopefully uh, get to one. Like right here. The painkiller shield. <laughs> ah, yes, the good old shield weapon. Alright. Just to pop that up. Hey, wow. It's not a hexagonal barrier. Alright, now it's like, pick up another orb. Ah, look at that. 180. Firestorm chemical. Oh, it's a uh, boost. Okay. I give it a fancy name then. So what we got, the machine gun. <laughs> wow, pretty fast, huh? Careful with those corners. Okay. Yeah, I'll just like, okay, yeah, pickups, okay. Feels a very high dime down for us. Try driving on the ceiling for a while to see how that feels. Eh, way ahead of you. Basically, you can go up and down and all around. Okay, yeah. Yeah, wow, tutorial's done. But, you know, just, uh, go, go... drive for a little bit longer, get a feel for things if you want. Also, I like how this music is, like, completely chill. In contrast to the supposedly high-intensity racing we're doing here. Feels like very Unreal Game-esque to do that. I don't know, might be just me. Uh, I think I'm gonna need to reposition a few things. Oh, okay, this is a boost. Gotta go fast. Ooh, man, okay. Oh, final lap. I guess if uh, I wasn't gonna end it, they were gonna end it for me. Also, stop giving me defensive items. I need offensive, like a, a rocket or a machine gun. Also, I need to actually, like, run into the pickups. Oh man, now everyone's ahead of me. Okay. Kinda like how the, um, the, the... The machine gun is just... Rapid fire. Or it's uh, it automatically locks on, right? Automatic locks on like the missile does. So I remember the machine gun in Wipeout, you had to like manually aim it. 
And uh, same same deal with like the machine gun and Jack X, right? You also had to aim that one. Oh, what are you doing? Getting ahead of me like that, huh? Oh jeez. Aw oh, man, I got physixed. I like how they said final lap and they're still having me run. I guess this lap is typically a five lap track. It's just that we're in practice mode, so we'll just just keep going. Just keep going till till it's all said and done. That said, I think I got a feel for it, so I'll go ahead and just quit the event here. I'll probably Hop into the settings real quick and turn down that music because it was a mite bit loud for my taste. Sound effects, amusingly enough, are like twice at twice the level, but apparently not as loud still. All right, um, settings are gonna go here. Audio, look, look, music volumes at at thirty. Let me go ahead and drop that to twenty. Excel drop the 15. Go ahead and save that. All right, why don't we go to the garage real quick and customize our vehicle here. Primary color, of course, we gotta we gotta make this light blue. It's it's my namesake. Uh, saturation. Oh no. It's not seem to have that much of an effect. Oh, it's probably because the brightness is low. If you jack that up, like oh yeah, look at that. Stick out like a sore thumb now, but I'm gonna dial it back a little bit. Secondary color. I was like doing like light purple to kind of complement it. It's always been my color scheme. If I could get away with it, just do 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 pink and purple. It's always always looked real nice to me. Wow, you can even do a tertiary color. I have to assume this is, uh, oop. Wait, 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 wait. I wish they had a cancel. I wish they had, instead of just no yes, but at least save my progress. Go ahead and... Let's see. Oh, I assume that was the rims, but... Oh, what, what color does this change? Welcome to the next hour of this stream. I go agonizing, edit my car in agonizing detail. Dark blue, then. Yeah, we'll work with that. Rims. Ooh, dang it. Well, I probably would have done that anyway. Same as body, uh... Secondary color. Uh, gonna purpleize that. And tires. Huh. Weird. It's interesting. Despite color being spelled British style, tires is spelled. Is that is that American? I know. I've I've seen like almost every other British work I've seen. They spell tires as T Y R E S. Yet this is T I R E S, despite color being having having a U in it. Ah, uh, tires is fine though. Body, okay, we're swinging back around. Oh man, okay. Different things I can stick on here. I'm gonna stick on that. Ooh, wait, maybe that's. Get the edit a decal color. Is there a decal color slot here? No. No, apparently not. Or I actually stick that decal on if we're like a or like like a color. I could have if I could change the color. Go save this now. Enter a name for the new preset. Uh, okay use my keyboard for this. I mean, I'm so original. Go ahead and save that. Yeah, all right. Oh, other vehicles I can, can 
edit here. Oh man. Maybe I should I should not I should not spend my time doing that. I can do that off stream. Uh, enough putzing around. Why don't we start a campaign here? Welcome to the Grip League. Through this campaign, you'll battle it out with fierce opponents racing across a variety of planets on all surfaces. Take advantage of the tools at your disposal because your opponents sure will. It's like there are three tournaments. Tournament 1, Tournament 2, Tournament 3. How, um... How very... Uh, oh, there's also tiers. Oh my god. It's a 11, 11 tiers. It's like difficulty is set as well. All right. That one speed demon speed bowl two laps two opponents easy difficulty low speed. Mm. All right. So I guess this will be a natural endpoint to this playthrough once I hit a, a difficulty wall. Oh, why does Y button go instead of A? I guess I don't want people to just mindlessly button through. Alright. This is race one, I assume. Ah, okay. Hold R or pad B to reset your vehicle back into the game the moment you are in trouble like during a crash. You will need to do this often to become competitive. Alright, yeah, this ain't like burnout. Don't don't gawk at your car uh, uh, crashing and burning because that's time your opponents will use to get ahead of you. Why don't you just start trying to get ahead of me? Ah, right now. It's okay, because I can keep up. Oh, I guess it's called Speed Demon, because uh, it's all speed boost to slap. Maybe it's just a case of trying to hit every every speed boost and pick up you can to uh, maximize your speed and just go fast. Go real fast. Oh, what was that? <laughs> Is that like part of the track or did someone trigger something? Are there power plays in this game? Nah, I kid, I kid. Woo! <laughs> I did a thing, plus 100. I think it's because I smacked it to the scaffolding and caused a collapse. In any case, I got first. Haha, <laughs> eat it. A thousand points goes to me. I like how there's a B retire, but now I'm gonna continue. Oh, okay, I see. <laughs> you have to do all of them in order. All right, it's like a Grand Prix. Classic race impact. Two laps, two opponents, easy difficulty, low speed. Let's go. Still don't think I got this uh, boost to start thing down pat. It says hit accelerate just as go appears. Oh, snap. <laughs> Ourselves a whole startup sequence. It's like we're playing, um... Uh, what was that game called? The one with the really complicated... Mech game with the really complicated controller. Steel Battalion, yeah. Yeah, it's like Steel Battalion. Ooh, boost. See, I always like the racing games that include, like, um... Like a, a dual pickup system, like... Allow you to have one pickup and not oh, not one pickup. They allow you to have like two pickups, right? That way you can have like the one reserve, and then you have the the one right. It's like emergency boost if you need it. But oh, let's see if this one. Ah man, out of range. Dang. This other fella. Yeah, I got shielded. Eat it.
Ooh, yeah, Scorpion Sting. It's a real good thing there's, like, a hard light wall there for me to... Oh, are you kidding me? That... <laughs> I came second. I got beat out there by some Yahoo just butts in at the last moment. <laughs> Gotta keep this competitive, right? Can't let the player sit comfy. <laughs> like how... There's only three competitors. We still start at first place gets a thousand, second place gets nine hundred, etc. So I guess that means I'm neck and neck with uh, whoever managed to get in first there. Yep. Oh, okay. Well, it's still close, right? It's still anyone's game. I always wonder why people always try to do some sort of fancy scoring for for Grand Prix. Like, it doesn't seem like, uh, you know, depending, fiddling with the number of points really doesn't seem to affect too much. Alright, so like, might as well just stick with, uh, you know, however many races you have. First place gets, like, say if there are eight racers, first place gets eight, second place gets seven, so on and so forth. They'll need to fancy it up or anything like first place gets like 15 second place gets 12 third place gets nine it doesn't seem like changes too much in the long run the math doesn't quite work out here in any case so um, oh cool i got items yeah because uh, okay i got because my level went up all right it says classic race haze two laps two opponents easy difficulty low speed Let's see this Haze map. It'll probably go over better than the Haze video game on PS3. Yeah, yeah, look at me. I'm making all the relevant references here. Oh, man. It's kind of funny how that game eventually actually was trying to be like a criticism on kind of the... Yeah, the... the Heck yeah, kind of shooter that was popular at the time, but it didn't quite stick the landing, and uh, the gameplay didn't quite stick the landing either. So people were, it ended up being a disappointment. Uh, I wish there were like some sort of landmine pickup. Ooh, I can shoot the scenery. Don't know what that did, but it was cool, I guess. I don't know if there will be like certain cases where shooting certain parts of the track. Oh no. I had no way to defend myself, sadly. Oh yeah, lap one of two. Oh jeez. Man, that really took a lot out of me. Hmm. As far as I can tell, there does not seem to be a durability meter. So it really is just a case of, yeah, you're gonna get slowed down like in Mario Kart. Yeah, that's right. Get slowed down, son. Still have a shield. Keep that in reserve. Pretty long track, all things considered. We're not we're not in lap two yet. Oh man, here's a multi-highway portion of the track. I always like those parts of tracks where they have like multiple uh, roads, like in a straight line. It's just like, hey, pick a path. It's like a three-lane highway. Which way do you want to take? Of course, you gotta balance it out, right? Too many alternative paths, racers never meet each other. Too few, and it gets a little, little, might get boring. Seems to have struck a good compromise between the two. I'm gonna hang on to the missile this time. Off chance someone tries to power ahead of me. Thankfully, I got these shields this time. Anyone tries to smack me with a missile or a machine gun. They're going to get a whole base full of nothing. They're going to get nothing for their efforts. And I have a missile ready to counter them if they try to pull ahead of me.
Music here is like exceedingly chill for for what is supposed to be a super high intense racing game. Well, maybe not this track, because that track is actually fairly intense, although still kind of low key. You mofo! How dare you pull ahead of me? I'm going to make you pay. Give me a machine gun. I got the machine gun. Haha. -ha. Eat lead. I really wish I had a booster. God damn it. Well, I got second again. Hopefully, uh, whoever got first was not able to pull ahead of me. We'll find out. Huh. Wait, really? Two people? What happened to third place? Alright. Did, did, did position 3 get DQ'd somehow? Is that even a thing? Tiebreaker! I won because of combined race times. Oh. <laughs> cool. Well, that's a pretty good tiebreaker, all things considered. It's like, yeah, if there's a tie in GP points, then whoever has the lower race time wins. That pretty good measure of skill there. Yeah, 2,800 points, but... Ah, uh, man, a tie in Tournament 1, Tier 1. Uh, oh, boy. I hope... This is not indicative of how the rest of this campaign is going to go. Sure, it says plus, place 8 to unlock, but there's only like... <laughs> there's fewer than 8 opponents. I have to assume higher tiers is going to slowly bump up the place X requirement. Ow. Alright, so you have another speed demon to start and then two classic races. Uh, let's get started. Why can't why can't they have something cool like that in the game where you just get airdropped right and have a, a real rolling start there? That's a falling start too. Rolling falling start. Oh, press the D-pad up and down to adjust the camera angle. Got it. Yeah, it is a pretty pretty intense piece as well. Alright. Looks like there's a pickup here. The classic tube section. I always like tube sections in, in racing games. Man, this is giving me like Ratchet and Clank uh, going commando vibes. There was like a, a hover hover bike racing track that was kind of kind of put you through a field. That's where the similarities end, really. I oh know I got physics again. Son of a gun. Thing about these racing games is that uh, try to make them too physics based and. It's all gonna end up going awry if you hit a corner or like a, a piece of scenery the wrong way. That's why I can appreciate something like Mario Kart that does fudge it like a lot, but it's at least for the surface of making sure you keep moving and you don't inadvertently fall off because you didn't get the right physics. You didn't. Okay, right. It's like you didn't you didn't go off the jump fast enough or. Or you hit a thing the wrong way, and I was just, yeah. Probably just to keep my speed up. Huh. Why is it this crowd? I seem to be smoking a lot more easily. Oh no, I got physics again. Hmm, I wish the speed boost from the pads was more noticeable. Like, just give us, like, a roar of the flames and, uh, boost the speed and, oh jeez, I can hear people behind me. Keep that, keep the speed up. Oh, man. Whew! Yep, they were right there. They were right there. 
came first. Point eight seconds behind. Okay, so even though the other competitors don't appear on the leaderboards, they clearly finished. This is just like some sort of bug here. All right, I'm gonna go here. Yep. Head of was this Magnus, Armina, Sarge, and a. Coney. Some hardcore space punk names you got there. More items have been unlocked. Woo! I'm at level two now. Alright. I do the thick outpost. Oh boy, is this where they write all them stories shipping people together in various series? Where do you think I could find the Yeah, I got I got nothing. Let's just let's just start racing. You know, I was never too much of a fanfic reader. Nothing against them. I just never got into it. I think I read like maybe two fanfics and that was it. And they were like pretty well written, but I'm like pretty fine with what I've seen. I don't know. I definitely get the appeal of writing additional stories in your favorite universes. Or, or you know, various other benefits to writing a fanfic, like say, uh, getting the outcome that perhaps uh, the, the story proper didn't give you, or, or, or among other things. Or, you know, crossing over two franchises that will probably never do so in actuality. My sister was kind of a pretty big fanfic reader. She always tell me I like the various fics she read. It's like mostly Pokemon, but I think she read some others as well. That's based on whatever series she was into. Most of the time, again, it was Pokemon. I so got a shield that said no boost. I keep this machine gun on hand, read off chance. Some Yahoo decides to try to pull ahead of me. Oh dang. The thing about getting physics is that I gotta build that speed back up. Thankfully, it doesn't seem too bad to get all the way there. Oh man. Got the green, but it didn't quite work out. Oh, that said, this missile should hit him. Hit him good, yeah. Uh oh. Heavy machine gun. That's right, get machine gunned. Hope you like the taste of the raptor. And how much lead you have to like how many raptor shots you have to connect to deal like a significant significant amount of slowdown to them. Uh, I got a boost. Might as well use the boost. Well, one thing I can appreciate, hitting the walls isn't a major speed decrease. Then again, these kinds of games, you don't want that to happen. Alright, going fast. Gotta go faster, 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 faster. Curious. Here has played Wipeout. So as I think I said this earlier, but yeah, this is Wipeout is a pretty pretty big inspiration for for this game. So say developers on Steam, and you can definitely see how they would benefit from that. I, how that was an inspiration with the high speed and the kind of anti grav up and down racing they got, and the weapons and sort of the future. Esque setting they got here. Why? Why is this so much more manageable? Again, first pretty effortless compared to Tournament One. I know this is going to get way harder later on, but also, but there were four opponents yet. You're only listing like first four people who finished. Is that? It's got to be a bug, right?
In any case, yeah, Wipeout. <laughs> Wipeout also known for being pretty hard. Like I remember playing uh, the, the HD version on um, on PS3 and even on easy difficulty. I think I had this. I I could not. Ju I could just could not progress past a certain point because I guess needs probably like a fundamental lack of understanding mechanics back in the day. But hey, that anti-grav reason was like pretty freaking rad. I, I liked it. Music pretty fun too. I like the variety of modes as well. Yeah, I'll, maybe I'll go back to it one of these days. Just give it a look, a quick look. Or not, won't play through it because again, hot, pretty hard, but I enjoyed what I played of it. Oh, it's a shame that the uh, people known for developing those games is uh, no longer around. So if Wipeout were to come back, it would probably feel like a, a different beast. Oh man, I think I took a shortcut. Let's see, it's a bold move, let's see if this pays off. Oh boy. Probably could parkour there if I were skilled, if I were more skilled. Man, what is... <laughs> this is like a really, really wide road here. Definitely very conductive to uh, Unreal Engine type of physics racers. Oh, yeah, look at this spot here. Perfect to kind of go anti-grav on, but given the nature of this track, I probably want to stay on the ground. Ooh, hey. I wonder if this is like the, the part that kind of... Uh, pulled out for for the title screen because those pumps I definitely recognize from the title screen there. What in the world are they pumping anyway? Ah, jeez, I got physicsed. Is it like some sort of space oil? Maybe it's like space iron. Maybe it's more kite. Okay, so you hit them pretty hard. I do. Get slowed down pretty significantly. Yeah, I've been playing a lot of um, Deep Rock Galactic. So I think uh, my my the group I play with was talking about wanting to try out that game for the longest time. I think a couple weeks back, they were like, "Yeah, let's let's finally give it a go." And then we gave it a go, and everyone's like, "Hey, wow, this is pretty rad!" And now now we're playing it on and off, which is pretty cool. I think the first time they all got into it, they were pretty shocked when they saw me with like a well, the bat was like a level twenty engineer. Like, holy crap, dude, you've been playing this a lot. And I was like, yeah, I kind of got into it first time. I was watching some other folks streaming it. And I was like, hey, I know my group was talking about it. Why don't I play that a little bit? And they're like, yeah, I played it, and then and it turns out I, I was playing it a lot. And they were like, yeah, you know what, that sounds about right. I think since then I've like promoted to the characters so I like engineer and uh, scout ever promoted I'm trying to work my gunner up to promotion status and uh, after that it's gonna be driller I usually don't play gunner or driller because my brothers actually play gunner and driller so they got those roles covered um, most of the time I swap between engineer and scout I actually started with engineer but then another friend who plays with us Mains engineer, so I've gotten used to scout, which amazingly enough is another class that another friend of ours uses. So, so hey, I'll I can I can play flex <laughs> if needs to be. I can play flex for at least three of the classes anyway. Um, in any case, I, I I became first, so let us get get out of here. And <laughs> we'll look at that hashtag Azure Sweep. <laughs> Oh my god. I don't know why this tournament... Sarge went... Oh, it was tie for last... Who cares? It's it's not me. I, whatever. <laughs> Protagonist-centered morality. I got 3,000 points. Look at that. It's a hashtag Azure Sweep. Oh my god. First in every race. Oh, I am so good. Wow, yeah, I don't know why this tournament was a lot easier to... It was like the other one, they were fighting harder, in any case. Let's go to tournament three here. Two races, looks like it's a classic race, Speed Demon. 
Oh, okay. So they only have the four pickups for now, but there will be there will be more later. I guess again, just easing us into the game here. Give us four straightforward pickups, two offensive, two one one support and like one defensive. So yeah. Oh, we end with a speed demon. We don't start with a speed demon this time. Ah, okay. Remember, I can hold B to reset my car. Press B to look behind your vehicle, or if you're using a gamepad, use the right stick to look around freely. <laughs> One of the reasons why I like using... Uh, controllers. Not the primary reason, of course, but... It's a uh, very helpful... Oh, wow. I was hoping those pickups would respawn more quickly, but I guess not. Just have to go on the side here to get ourselves uh, some pickups. A shield will probably come in handy. Man, too bad this ain't burnout and I can just ram you off the road. So I have to say, the visual style of this game is at least pretty consistent. It's very, um, kind of that sort of space, space, uh, grunge. It's, it's like definitely a case of, yeah, everything's been here for a while. Oh my god, did we just air juggle that poor car? Just like one, one missile hit it and then another missile hits it. Go ahead and assert dominance, build lead. Maybe I should have saved that boost, but I don't care. We're about to finish anyway. We're about to finish. Hopefully we don't get BS'd. Oh good, we didn't get BS'd. <laughs> There's only two races, so positions matter a lot more here. So we're in a good spot. As long as we don't let Sarge ahead of us, we should be okay. And this is reminding me of Forza. I used to obsessively keep track because... Uh, weekly uh, race tournaments always set to high difficulty and they always make it so that you know there's always the one person who's slightly more cracked and if you let them would always be ahead of the pack I guess it's to you know keep things intense make sure you keep focusing but well it was a, a lot to keep track of right it's like okay I gotta make sure I pay attention to this one racer make sure they don't get ahead of me because if they do they're gonna be able to close the gap and I might actually lose the tournament. I think it was a championship they called it. Eh, anyways. Speed Demon! So it's all about the speed. If I get boost pickup, I just might as well pop it. I wonder if I use D-pad left and right to switch targets while using a Scorpion missile. Oh yeah, again, just just use the boost. Use the boost, Luke. Use the boost and drive. Drive to Dagobah. Drive to Dagobah. Now back when I was in um the oh, Back when I was in high school, I was like part of a summer program. And um one of the activities they had us do, and uh, it was kind of kind of like a talent show. It wasn't anything serious. We were just, you know, do something silly. And the group I was with decided on doing like a, a performance of um, the Star Wars rap. It was, you know, we had we had people playing as various folks. I was I was playing as kind of like the accompaniment, the singing accompaniment. It's pretty amusing. Oh. I don't think I came in first. It, it was second. I think Magnus was the one in second before. <laughs> oh boy, we're going to tiebreaker for this one. Hopefully I got the better combined race times.
Oh. This is a three-way tie on the bottom. Oh, I guess I didn't even need to worry. Magnus was not the one in second previous race. The one thing I like about Grand Prix type races, if you're doing well, right? Uh, getting a lower position is not the end of the world, right? You can mess up. You can mess up a little bit, as long as you're placing fairly high, right? Just maintain that consistency and you might be able to eke one out over the competitors. <laughs> So if you become a nuisance in a game like, say, Mario Kart, which gives you star ratings to, based on how hot, how many points you get at the end of a race, but that's a, that's a story for another game. Okay, so we got Tier 2. Hydra Pickup now unlocked. A swarm of spiraling rockets that can have devastating effect on the opponent or yourself. This tier has additional game modes. Ultimate race and arena deathmatch. Oh, man. That's an ultimate race. Ooh, looks like each tournament is going to... Uh, introduce us to well each tournament after this one's gonna introduce us to the to the new stuff so again we only have to place eighth although we're starting to get up get up higher now it's six opponents and then it'll be seven opponents and then tournament three is where position starts to matter because if i get ninth then it's like nope try again what do we have here <laughs> district 404 i wonder if they picked that number on purpose i got it right no, you don't pick 404 unless you want to make a reference to the classic internet error code. Oh, and now we're at normal speed as well. Although well, still easy difficulty. I would assume the next tier will bump it up to medium difficulty. Normal. You know, I used to prefer normal difficulty. Right, calling it normal difficulty, I mean. But now I prefer just calling it medium. Because I know normal kind of has different connotations, right? It's supposed to be... Gives you the implication that, oh, yeah, this is the difficulty that's where you in where they intend it to be. But... Um, or, you know, it's one where an average player should be able to beat. Now, I'll just call it medium. Because it's, like, middle of the road between uh, easy and hard. And you can just, uh, you know, call the other ones bigger and better names. If you really need to. Oh my gosh, I'm going so fast! Oh, I have gun. I use gun. Why am I fourth? Okay, I got shield. It's gonna be ready if someone tries to launch a missile at me. Ah! Hydra rockets. I wish there's some way to absorb the weapon, like in a uh, wipeout. Oh yeah, do like they do in um, I think uh, Mod Nation Racers, Little Big Planet Karting, where you got a weapon you really don't need to use, or it's not useful where you are at the moment. Just you can just turn it into a boost, and wipeout you just convert it into shields because that game had damage meters. Wow, that was a pretty clean transition to the other side of the track there. All right, hey, I might actually make it the first here. I just have to not get physicsed. Yeah, eat it. Oh man, they wiped out super hard there. Holy cow! Woo! He. I thought I thought I I thought I was gonna miss that. I thought I was gonna come in second. That errant rocket came in handy. Thankfully, they weren't targeting me. Yep. Alright. Thousand points. Why do they have a thousand anyway? If they're gonna do to 900, 800, 700, and so on. Might as well just do 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I guess that's just to account for future inflation. It's like, yeah, in the year, whatever year this grip takes place in, we now measure points in thousands instead of tens. All right, <laughs> Alhatra wastes. I like how they all these pictures here, hinting at a world greater than what we see in kind of the the race tracks. So it's a fun, fun contrast. It's all flavor, of course, but hey, 
I, I, I can appreciate it at least. Really don't need to pay attention to it, but it is, it is nice. Nice. Gives, it sets the mood, I guess. Dang it, all these people snatching pickups right from out from under my nose. How dare you. These pickups are mine. Oh my god. Yeah, holding B. Okay, what's happening? Why is my... Why, why did everything go like all snowy for a moment there? Is that a boost? Alright, we're gonna boost. Can't can't get a oh god okay. Do I have okay? I got spiral rockets and uh, dang it, <laughs> smacked into a rock. Let's go ahead and fire the one guided rocket which hits a wall, of course. All right. Well, it's a good thing there's two laps. Ah, it's an electrical effect. Okay, there to kind of simulate. Hey. This electric uh, electricity is interfering with the systems on the car, on on the vehicle. Wow, made it back up to third. We're cl we're quickly closing the gap too. Oh, that was a hit! Oh yeah! Thank goodness for that missile. Actually, uh, not hitting anything else. Oh geez, okay. Back, we're gonna pop the boost. Try to get back in there. Uh oh. Oh, I got physics super hard. Oh boy. Things do not lock, look favorable at right now. Oh, fifth. At least ain't, uh, ain't too bad of a position, right? It's gonna get me 500 points. Hopefully, the others won't won't be so far ahead. But I'm all just hanging around the finish line as if they're trying to taunt me. Oh, I swear. All right, let's see where this lands me. Probably third or something. Well. The one time I'm glad requirement is just place 8th for now. Hmm. Oh. I forgot. 3. There's 3. Okay. The plunge. Or that means there will be a big drop here. Okay, case so I'm I'm trailing the other person by 200 points so this event is theirs to take if they manage to get second or better I'm I'm as good as done even if I get first I just have the hope they mess up so bad that they get below third I can close the gap and blast ahead of them Ugh, that track was not not my favor either yeah, physics super hard there. Oh my god. You know, if I didn't know any better, I'd tell you this was like a fan Fantasy Star online zone here. Oh, it's still that, got that sort of grungy, used fu future sort of look to it. Definitely a lot more bright as well. Wow, oh, this, this looks like something I could reasonably see in Fantasy Star online. I guess it's because of how bright everything is. Okay, am I missing something here? Oh, I think I was supposed to drop down this way. Noted! Uh, hopefully they didn't get too far ahead of me. I guess this is why they call it the plunge. Another, another spiral section. Uh-oh! A leak in the tunnel! Someone get maintenance out here. Probably don't want to keep that leak.
One time I'm glad. Uh oh. The world. Well, respawn. I think they said X was the handbrake. Is there a way to restart? <laughs> okay, now that I know that part. Maybe I should have taken a lap first. Hopefully, restart is not restart event, but just restart race. Okay, good. It's just restart race. There's some games who take Grand Prix super seriously, and it's like, no, nah, you can't restart a race after you're like several races into the Grand Prix. You gotta take the results and roll with it. I think Mario Kart's pretty infamous for that. Which is why people get real mad if they manage to kick butt for like the first three races and then get Mario Karted at the end and get knocked down to six. Still win the GP, but they're not going to get that three star rating. Ugh, I'm not going to, I'm not going to place high in this race. I can already feel it. I just use my shields. I don't think anyone's launched missiles and stuff at me. Uh, how did you miss that? All right, got one guided rocket. Ooh! How did they recover from the turns so much more quickly than I? I feel like it's like a Herculean effort to do that hairpin turn. But they all seem to plow ahead of me. No sweat. What the heck is this track? I mean, I know they had like a go left sign here, but whew. Can we just go back to the tracks with the circuits and stuff? God. Yeah, there's no way I'm getting first for this race. It's gonna be how close can I get to first. Seriously, they make it look so easy. Am I missing something here? boost so we can more quickly get out of that get out of that funk oh pop shields Woo! okay I was like oh no oh no oh no I remember oh right shields I got shields Woo, okay that was a smoother turn there oh my god am I gonna actually be first yes I am oh boy I almost lost it for a moment there Woo! All right. Looks like my main threat, Sar uh, Magnus, has scored fourth. Ooh, they're not gonna get the points needed to uh, keep the gap. Uh, I'm gonna close that gap and I'm gonna overtake it. We'll see uh, if anyone else's position scores have affected anything. I placed first this time. No tiebreakers needed. Ooh! Oh my God! <laughs> I managed to beat out Magnus by a hundred. Ooh, they—that would have been a choke on their end right there. All right, what do we have here? Ultimate race. What is it? Ultimate race. Guess we'll find out soon enough. <laughs> Rigid ridges. Seven opponents. So. We're still, still in, uh, you're just going to advance regardless of where you are threshold. Is 
steer when you're in a burnout to enter a donut fest? Ugh, I love donuts. You know, I've I've taken to like getting donuts like every Friday. I guess I kind of think of it as like a, a treat, treat for myself for getting through the week. Cause like, here, have uh, enjoy yourself some donuts. I like donuts. Fortunately, the donut shop near me has stopped serving like jelly donuts. That's like my favorite type of donut. I still get donuts from them because it's like the one one donut I know, but Okay, I see one up twenty six and I'm fifth. Order Is there something I gotta be doing here? Or should they explained? Maybe I should have looked this up in the manual. I should have looked up race types in the manual. Oh. Whew. Denied. Maybe you should, like, try hitting people or something, or... Okay, now it's... Now one up's at 44? Oh, now they're at... Is this like a speed trap race or... Huh? Still have laps, so... Very, very much race oriented. Is this like a zones mode where I gotta be like hitting certain target speed thresholds at certain points? Oh, I got super physics there. Hmm. Dang. Or is this like a, a parkour com a competition where I gotta be like getting as much air as I can? Is that is that what this is? Hmm, seems like it. Yeah, also get get points for weapon hits, so there's that as well. Just need to catch up the first here. Or catch up to like the next racer. Dang it. Just need to get someone in range so I can like smack them with my weapons. I don't know, maybe we should try to do some tricks and stuff. If they won't give me points, I'll make myself with blackjack. Yeah, just just blackjack. Currently fifth, waiting for remaining players. Yeah, it looks like position really does determine a lot. And our points get converted into GP points and ah, middle of the pack. Okay. Like a combination stunt and the combat race. Get points by hitting opponents and doing sick tricks. And then I guess your position at the end will also get you a number of points. Alright. So yeah, I think this might be the part where I, I stop caring about getting first. It doesn't seem like the game also records what position, what your best position is. It just records how many times you play the tournament. As long as you satisfy the requirements of whatever position you need to be overall, you can move on. Special one, I guess. I wish I knew what that was. Like, I'm pretty sure Grip is on consoles, so... 
You can see they have button imports input support, so... Usually a toss-up as to whether, uh... uh the button support... ...works with, um... Like, work, works in, works in, uh, on the PC or not, right? Because... Maybe, maybe it's, like, as easy as, uh... Doing sort of a, that live change, but otherwise, not. All right, I got the hang on what an ultimate race is. Uh, this game needs to give me some offensive weapons while there's opponents in range. And oh my god, I got goddamn physics again. Yeah, now you give me a weapon when I have nothing to shoot. Oh wait, never mind. A lot of good for, for all the good that did. What? I got physics again. Got mofos. Everyone's ahead of me. Wow, that was a very fast final lap. Yeah, sick tricks here. Alright. I think I connected with a lot of those rockets. Pretty cool. I go ahead and go on the outside. Oh wow, it looks like all the stunting I did put me at first, for now. I'm sure, once the position points come in, things will change. Whew! Alright. Ah, man. Pretty sure we're close, close to the end here, there's no way I'm getting, uh... I'm gonna stay in first, not with the rank points. What the heck? Why is this such a sticking point? This must be the end here. Hey, at least I got another 100 points there. I came second, really. Uh, I'll take it, I guess. I'm not sure how the end of round scoring is calculated, like... Definitely did not get. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have to consult the manual to see how ultimate race really factors into this here. Like, is there rank points, or am I imagining things? In any case, I am. All right, managed to claw my way to third with that performance there. Let's see if I can get all the way up to first. Probably not gonna happen. We'll see what spin cycle has for me. Ah, you know what I find real exciting? Second Forza Horizon 5 expansion has finally been announced. I think, did I already go over this? Well, yeah, I might have, but I'm gonna say it here because... Hey, it's a, it's a racing night, so it feels a fitting, right? Anyways, yeah, they announced the next Forza Horizon 5 X-Pack. It's a rally. It's a rally expansion. Finally doing rally again after Horizon 1. Pretty cool. I already said this already, also, but I was hoping for like a big city urban expansion, but this is fine too. Probably fitting the environment, more fitting the environment, so I'm, I'm alright with it. Definitely mix things up differently. And it's coming out, end of the month. So we'll see we'll see how much mileage grip has. 
I suspect, uh, I suspect we'll probably get a couple of streams out of this. I don't know. Despite my frustrations, I am enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. Definitely got that sort of high speed, uh, off the wall action that Wipeout has. Captures it pretty well. Huh. Currently first, but hey, things could change. Oh, I ended it first. Wow. Very effortless compared to <laughs> the first and second races, especially the first. Oh my god. A track is an absolute nightmare. This one's just straightforward. Hey, just hold accelerate. Don't worry about it too much. All right, let's see if I, uh, we need a tiebreaker in points or something. I assume tiebreaker is just going to be overall points gained in the event. If they really need it. Now, oh, well, if I get third, I'll be okay. I'm expecting third. Oh, tiebreaker is still race times. Yeah, I would have assumed it was points. Oh, well. Maybe it's like third criterion. Huh. Despite completely botching it at race one, I somehow managed to get first. All right. <laughs> I'll take it. More items have been unlocked. Let me level six. All right. Deathmatch Arena. Yeah, I can see here completed. So I guess that just means it. Did you manage to meet the advance to the next tournament criteria? If you did, here we go. We'll, we'll tick it up for you. In case, take them down, Deathmatch Arena. I have to assume this is... Hmm. I wonder if it is a case of, hey, just... <laughs> you're in an arena now. It's like, uh, you know, the, the the combat modes of other race, other kart racers, like Crash Team Racing and Mario Kart. So... It's gonna be... Yeah, you see damage percentage on the top right there. Very, very much a case of uh, destroy every last one of them. Oh yeah, this is a very arena-ass arena. Building up points, uh-oh. Definitely want to pack a shield for this one. All right, let me get a get a beat on him. Only ten points, man. Oh, I am first. I wonder what plus minus has to deal with here. Is that like kills? And again, with the way the score is, I have to assume it's actually about you know, landing hits with the weapons you got. Oh, I don't know why I got points for that, but okay. I'll take it. Let me... my crack shot. Yeah, really, really kicking butt out here. Ba-boom. I can at least appreciate this game's not giving me a boost. Wouldn't be too bad if, uh... The boost was a case of, um... You know, like, like Mario Kart boost where, uh... Um, you boost into an opponent and can, like, steal an item or a balloon depending on the mode. Uh, wow. <laughs> I'm guessing these opponent, the CPU opponents don't quite know how to do free-range racing combat. Wow. <laughs> maybe it's because this is on easy difficulty, maybe on the higher difficulties they become more cracked at it. Who knows? In any case, yeah, effortless first, I have to assume. We'll see what, we'll see what the second uh, arena has for us. being said, unless I completely botch it, I should be able to place to advance to tier 3.
being said. I wonder if the arenas might be a bit too large? Just feel like I was barely seeing anyone in this arena here. Oh my god, why is why are all these pickups on raised platforms? You mean I gotta actually like use skills to be able to shoot people things at people? Also, this is like a futuristic Tony Hawk skate park. I'm sure likes to look, looks like a hoverboard park to me. It's like where Riley Hawk's son goes to skate. He's like Riley Hawk's grandson. So I need to like actually be able to lock onto something to hit them. Got, got a whole minute left. Are you kidding me? Oh, I was hoping dumb firing the rockets would work out, but didn't quite. All right, can I can I just restart? I feel like I got on a, on a bad foot there. At least at this point, it seems like retries are free. Gonna throw me in here where I actually gotta drive for further to reach a pickup. Oh man. Machine gun. There we go. Few points for the points thrown. All right, feeling a little better about this. Just... No way I'm getting a lock on in this arena. Not with the way everyone's driving. Thought I had to beat on him. At this point, it's gonna be like machine gun or nothing. It seems like all the other lock on weapons are doing buckus for me here. Because trying to get a beat on anyone when they're driving up and down and all around and not like, you know, one direction. This is a bit of a pain. That's the weakness of having lock on weapons. It works pretty well for, uh, for races, but when it comes to. Combat arenas, maybe. Maybe not quite as much. You know, I really should pick up a capture hard. That way I can show off Crash Team Racing Nitro Field because that is a game I absolutely loved and played a lot of. Thanks to. Thanks partly in part to their great, fantastic post launch support. Uh oh. Ran out of time. I need to, I need to lock onto something real quick. Come on, come on, give me something to shoot here, computer guide target targeting system. Ugh, whatever. Second valve take. <laughs> I actually managed to hit something. Better than oh, first place was 160. Probably actually blew someone up. Maybe maybe having anti grav arenas. For deathmatch isn't quite the best. Maybe it's better to keep on a flat plane for that one. At the very least, have more clearly defined routes. All right, what do we have here? <laughs> Points per minute is the tiebreaker here. Wow. But it doesn't matter. I got first overall, so I was not involved in the tiebreakers. Woo! Tier three rivals and duels now unlocked. You can develop rivals throughout the tier to race to the end. Assassin pickup now unlocked. A tenacious weapon will target and track down the racer in first place. Uh, there's our blue shell. Opponent difficulty and vehicle engine power have now been increased. All right, yeah, we got. Oh, still easy. Although we can still see here now it's place seventh to unlock seventh or better. And that, so the position is going to start slowly going up. I've, it's either going to be every two tiers or every tier. Hmm. I think I'll do like. One or two more tournaments. 
or actually real quick maybe i can game info manual modes here we go race ah all right ultimate yeah other factors like how much damage you do the more damage you do the more points are okay elimination ah all right good old elimination format every 30 seconds person in car in last place is eliminated so don't be last Steed demon it's all boosts just boost pads and boosts time trials just you in the track Oop. wanted to see the arena modes just a death match too much racing with your combat play this mode to see your cars explode I mean car core later on huh an homage to a certain mode in a certain influential racing game. Carcore gives the player a bunch of obstacle courses from very difficulty to traverse. Conquer the nightmare courses. Patience and precision are crucial. Oh, backstory to see. Oh! PancakeMan24, thank you for the follow. Thanks for checking me out. Case, an illicit sport that spread like napalm. <laughs> Uh, you know, it's hardcore because I said napalm instead of like wildfire or something like that. Grip has its origins in the illegal street racing scene. No problem. How you doing? I'm doing pretty well. How are you tonight? Middle of the week. I'm settling in with a, with a good racing game here. Yeah, how are you? All right, Grip has its origins in the illegal street racing scene that spawned in the early 21st century. Races were reasonably harmless danger to the public, certainly, but experienced drivers managing to destroy their rides in ill-judged corners. This time it was only the drivers themselves that wound up dead. It's characterized as an underground movement largely ignored by law enforcement with only a handful of arrests being made. The world had other worries. I'm good. Can't complain. I like your model. It's cute. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I'm glad, glad you enjoy it. Glad you like it. Things started to change. Scene became dominated by major players with big egos full of bravura. I'm assuming that's like bravado. Their cars evolved, became all about the speed, and that's when the danger began to grow. Elements of public started to become interested in the drama, and a whole new subculture gravitated towards the action. This was racing, all right, and everyone in it was out to win, whatever the cost. Accidents happened often, and that too became part of the allure. Sport was really taking off, despite the intensifying efforts of the authorities to bury it. <laughs> in the end, the races became so testosterone fueled and running so close to the edge that even pirate TV started to cover them. A channel known simply as Grip became synonymous with the whole scene, which exploded with massive public interest running counter. To government crackdowns on the problem, funded by gambling income and black market TV subscriptions, the hacker crew running the TV link became very wealthy indeed. Drivers in these races quickly realized what they were missing, and they were more than just a little displeased. They were harboring some righteous anger. Some TV network TV taking over the scene, taking all the rewards, yet sharing none of the risks. What the hell was that about? The fury erupted, and the big dogs made their grab for power. Fierce fighting broke out between the two groups, but the network was no match for the drivers and gave way to superior force. Faced with no choice but to accept the offer they were given, the balance of power struck, and everyone moved forward. The network retained the cult, but the drivers are now collecting income for their risk, a real income that allowed them to pint their speed machines even further. But money corrupts, and in grip it corrupted absolutely. The cut from the races was split between the drivers, and those that ended first received the most. Those that didn't end at all well received nothing. It wasn't long before this fact was viciously exploited. The cars originally built purely for racing slowly evolved to become armed and armored. Fewer, fewer people finishing a race meant more money for those that did. It wasn't just about racing anymore, it was about destroying your rivals along the way. <laughs> It's not enough that I win, it, 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 everyone else must also lose. The government really couldn't tolerate such an obscene display of violence and weaponry in their backyard. Burger police were hopelessly outclassed, so they sent in the military, but as to become increasingly involved, this just added to the whole drama of the scene, though very, it was still very much underground, it was becoming rampantly popular. It was everyone's favorite new addiction, their guilty pleasure for the drivers doing the military intervention was just killing it. Racing was already intense enough, but fighting on two fronts was all but impossible. Something had to be done. This was a way of life now, and wasn't 
going to just stop. So all things started to move, not just into the far reaches of the desert where it would be less conspicuous, but eventually off-world to try to find places where they could race to the max. Without racing munition or government forces that they would much rather save to fight against each other. It was all about the winning. <laughs> Is this game like a weird twisted metal? Uh, no, it's... Well, I'd say... It's more akin to Wipeout. I remember Wipeout with the, with the anti-grav racing, racing parts of it. So we'll go ahead and continue the campaign here. Uh... Yeah. Oh, we're gonna do Speed Demons. So, yeah, you're gonna... You guess, you'll see what I mean. It's, it's all about the tracks going every which direction, upside down, right side up, sideways. And certain modes will have weapons for you to use, but it's, again, it's like, it's like Wipeout in the, in the sense that it's like um, uh, Mario Kart style weapons to kind of hinder your opponent's less about, less about blowing them up in modes like these. Yeah, wow, we're in space! It's about the most technologically advanced I've seen that this series taken yet. Oh my god. We're like, actually in space. Well, they'd say they we're about the high, high thrills. More, more, more thrilling than, than a race through space. Man, this could be like Mario Kart. In another, in another track. Of course, I'd probably do better if the opponents would not pick up, like, every pickup I tried to come across here. Oh, jeez, okay. Ah, gotcha. They said the cars were armed and armored, so I was thinking Twisted Metal, but I get what you're saying. Wipeout is good. Yeah. Yeah, I can definitely see where, where Twisted Metal would come to mind as well, right? Cars designed for combat definitely gets that Twisted Metal uh, mindset going. That said, they do have arena modes in here, so definitely, uh, you know, I assume that's more of a Mario Kart tribute than anything, but yeah. But yeah, definitely get the Mario Kart feel of it as well. Oh my god, I swear, if I don't get... I can't get higher than... Okay, I've got second so far. Hopefully I don't get physics I'm just glad these roads here have railings. I, if they didn't, I would be falling off of them pretty hard. I should probably be popping my boosts more often as well, so I can keep collecting them and chaining them. Oh, jeez, I'm gonna get... Got flip turned outside and around. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna lose a lot of position here. Oh my god, why does the acceleration on this vehicle suck so much? This game would make me motion sick so quick. Oh man, that sucks. But yes, I can definitely see. I can definitely see this uh, causing some real bad vertigo. Ah, seventh. Well, I only need to do seventh or better to advance. That's that's what matters. And we still we still have like another race, so it's it's not over yet. It's not over yet piddly 400 points for that, but yeah. Man. But yeah, there's definitely a real sense of speed, and of course, you're, you're going up and down and all around, uh, uh, you're gonna definitely gonna feel it. What kind of games do I like to play? Well, uh, it's not actually... I have like a wide variety of games I like to play. Like most of the time, I, I like my racings or action platformers. Or, or uh, when I, when I fit, have like a hankering for action, it's like platformers or racing or or like stylish action games or maybe action adventure of the sorts. But I can also do I can also do like yeah you know, the more more chill stuff, the more things that don't require that sort of split second timing, like RPGs or. Um, or, or like tabletop games, or or more of the yeah, you know, more of the menu-driven stuff I can also do as well. Uh, yeah, I'd say there are very few types of games that I probably would not touch. 
I think most of Luya would be like simulation sports. That's that's it really. A wide variety is good. Yeah, yeah, I, I definitely agree with that. That said, I won't won't fault anyone who has like more specific interests, right? Hey, you like what you like, right? If you if you know what you like, then you know you know what the you know what games you want to look after and what games you want to avoid. That's that's all that's all good too. I'll go ahead and start Speed Demon here. All I need to do is finish 7th or better again. Hopefully that will give me enough points to advance to the next tournament. Of course, can't knock someone for having a certain taste. Yes, absolutely. Because hey, you like, you like what you like. Right, the song... As long as you're cool with it, I'm cool with it. That being said, I, I'm I always always uh, find it fun, you know, when someone decides to try out something new, right? It's like, hey, maybe this person who doesn't normally play like twin stick shooters or rogue lights decides to try one out, and they're like, oh yeah, wow, this is like pretty rad. You know, they just, they start getting into it, and it's like, oh man, you just opened up a whole new other possibilities there. It's always fun. Oh man. What is this with this race? Why am I like suddenly smoking everyone now? Oh boy. Oops. Ha! <laughs> Got physics into a building. That's okay, I have a boost in reserve. It's all boosts all the time, baby. That's that's uh that's a speed race for you. I had a minute. I thought when they when they said deathmatch, I thought maybe the deathmatch would take place on the track, but man, they actually have like separate arenas for it and everything. Ooh, snap! Oh, I did not take that. I did not shift the lanes well there. Ooh, got bumped. Hey, thanks for giving me that uh, speed boost there, opponents. Keeping me in the game. I dig that. Probably wasn't intended, but hey. I'll pretend it is. Oh, jeez. Fell right off the track there. Look at that. Oh my god. Y'all come blasting right ahead of me. Because my car accelerates. <laughs> accelerates very slowly. Ugh. That said, hopefully I didn't, didn't uh, lose too much ground here. Nothing like getting rear-ended to wake you up. Oh, boy. Yeah. That wakes you the heck up right quick. At the very least, in, in this video game, uh, rear-ended isn't isn't uh, a complete detriment. Jeez, I'm going like so fast, I pretty much smack into the railing. Ugh, I wonder if this is going to be a case of where I might actually have to let off the accelerator at some points, because otherwise I'm just going to physics myself into the scenery. Ugh. I swear to god. <laughs> oh my god, I'm actually going to get last. Got freaking last. Something tells me I'm going to have to repeat this tournament here. I can't even make seventh. Like, there's no way they can even try to finagle this in a way to give me 7th. Yeah. It's tiebreakers, I'm not part of. <laughs> Ninth. Got more stuff, but at what cost? All right, let's try again. Another go, go at this. Get down. Sometimes you just gotta pick yourself back up, dust yourself off, and get back in there. There 
can actually try to make an effort to actually pick up the speed pickups on this level. I feel like that's probably gonna help me a lot in, uh... Like... Eh, staying ahead. I was doing pretty well on that other track, too. I went from, like, hero to zero in no time flat. That was... that was, uh... That was... Ooh, that was embarrassing. Uh, uh, oh, oh, oh. Made it. Yeah, I just gotta be a bit more careful with where I boost. Try to boost on straightaways, not on curves, because that's how I end up flying right out off the track. Do it at spots where I know I'm gonna have a place to land. If I go flying. Maybe drive and power can help, but control plays a big part too. Gotta got focus that control. You gotta focus that drive and power and in, into a meaningful spot. Having said, you can't see the speedometer right now, but uh, this, the car I'm driving here is reaching speeds of like 300 miles per hour. So, you know, this is, this is pretty futuristic racing, but uh, race is still at reasonable speed. Definitely not like F0, which is like going at a thousand kilometers per hour. Oh my god, I got first. I think maybe... Maybe maybe it helps that I've, I'm not just mindlessly hitting boost and I know the track so I can... can uh, manage the curves more easily. Alright, going on to the second. We, we hit a good spot. That being said, uh, race two, anything could happen. I could once again go from zero to hero, or hero to zero like I did in uh, like my last attempt at that tournament. So, I uh, gotta, gotta, you know, keep my head in the game. Gotta keep paying attention. Yeah, sometimes these racing games are a bit of trial and error until you get the hang of the track. Yeah, yeah. After that sight read of the track is like, you start, you start learning about the curve, you start learning about where you can boost and where you perhaps need to slow down a little bit, where you can speed up and jam to accelerate. Oh. Said being in first place, I can probably afford afford a much worse position here. I still, as long as, as long as I make it to seventh or better, I should be okay. Speed pickup, we'll pop that right away. Stay ahead of the pack. Yeah, see, like right there, I need to make sure I don't stay on the right side too much. There's like an upcoming spot here where I should ha where I need where I should probably slow down as well. Lest I drive myself right up into a building. Was it here? Yeah, I think it was he here. Probably. No, not here. It was here. It was here. Slow down a little bit and get back in there. Stop boosting. Woo! Made it to six. And it's okay if I start wall riding here because I'm just gonna go back on the surface like that. Woo! Yeah, I got, got that speed. Keep going, speed. All the way to second. Alright. Feeling better. I think the real hang up spot was that curve at the building there. I think I've managed to keep that. I should I should make it out okay. So I think I need to keep to the right about this upcoming section here. Or to the left. Make sure I keep to the left. That way I can still stay on the track. 
after I get down to the road below. Pop boost again. Woo, okay, okay. I think I can pop boost here safely. Oh, okay, yeah, it should... Yeah, we're getting up to the other part where I need to let off the gas a little bit. Gas, 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 gotta let off the gas. Maybe it should be break, break, break. Gotta step on the break. I think it's a straight shot to the end, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, it is. Huh. Wow. Brakes in a racing game? Never heard of it. <laughs> yeah. It's only it's only if you need to tap the brake to drift, right? That's that's when that's when you use the brakes. <laughs> In any case, wow, what a marked improvement! I went from <laughs> ninth. I went from ninth to first. That's that's practically zero to hero right there. All it took was actually using exercising a little caution in the race, and not just leaning on the accelerator the entire way through. <laughs> In case it's first. Did way better than we needed to, but hey. All right, here we go. Classic race. There's two of them. Huh. I like how the tournaments here are all two races each. Oh, they have it reverse in parentheses, so. So each track was built to be able to drive in reverse. That's pretty cool. Although definitely, uh, will definitely add some restrictions to design as well, right? Means you can't do like big drops or anything like that, or maybe it's like only certain tracks that you can have a reverse variant of. Actually, reminds me of um, Mario Kart Tour on mobile, where they will take like tracks from the old Mario Kart games, and and the way they do reverse variants is just those like um, they'll, they'll add like ramps in very, very obvious places, right? So you'll be able to drive through the track in reverse. So it's pretty cool they managed to accommodate for that, but it does make the tracks look a bit ridiculous. We see all these extra bits and pieces on it that were definitely not originally part of the track on there now. Oh my god. Oh, it's okay. I got two laps, so... Plenty of time to catch back up. Also, all of these all of these races so far have been two laps. I wonder if I wonder if uh, we'll we'll get like more laps in the track later. Oh jeez, I got physics again. Yeah, that's right, we're gonna get ahead of everyone with the boost. The boost in this game has a very specific name, but it's it's a boost. You know, you know how it works. If you played a racing kart racing game before, you've seen a boost, you know what a boost does. It's actually the same thing with like the missile and the machine gun and everything. They got like these names for them, but you can you can call them just like um yeah, you can call them missile, machine gun, shield, what have you. Two laps is kind of strange. Normally, minimum is three. Yeah, and these types of racing games usually have three laps, but I don't know. We still we are early on, so maybe th that might be the reason for it. Also, these tracks are kind of sort of long. Let's see, you still got a shield. So we'll just pop it now since we're close to the end here. Yeah, that's right. Eat my dumb fire rockets. And this is the part where I should have held on to the shield. Although that only spun me out. Wow, I maintained my momentum. Still ended up in first. <laughs> wow, thank goodness for that. Thank goodness I didn't get flipped, turned upside down. Alright, we're actually in good position going into our race 3 here. Or race two, race two of two.
how they put this on the bottom. Scroll up on the controller either. Said, and you can switch to mouse. Uh, look at that. Not much to look at, but no, it's there. All right, transport reverse. This game newish. I've never heard of it before. I think, I think this game was released in I want to say, like sort of late tens, and they had like a handful of updates for it over over the years. Seems like development on this game is finished. I might be wrong about that. Yeah, I, I guess it is kind of newish. New in the sense that, um, you know, it wasn't released in like the early 10s or the aughts or anything like that. It's only it's only a handful of years old. You could probably count it on, on two hands at most. Uh, let's, let's get in here. Transport Riv. I don't have too many looting screen pictures, I noticed. Not that it matters, it's it's all just it's all just transitions. Don't need it to be fancy. Just need it to indicate a transition. Alright. Classic race. Let's go. Yeah, I must have slipped on the Ryan radar. I'm usually on top of new racing games. Ah, okay. Yeah, I definitely see see a lot of games of this type that try to evoke the feel of an old style of racing game. Um, dang it. Spun out car got in my way, tanked my position. That's okay, it's early in, early in the race we can make it back. So yeah, like this game here is trying to kind of evoke a wipeout slash roll cage. Um... Uh, there's another another racing game I know of called like Fast Racing. That was like more of a more of a tribute to the F Zero style of racing series. Yeah, I probably should have respawned much earlier than that. I'm sitting in tenth. I don't know if there are like any other racing games out there that are kind of trying to pay homage to uh, uh, to, to the Wipeout series, though. I wouldn't be surprised if there were out there. Alright, final lap. Start poking folks with the machine gun here. I like how it like, decelerates, right? You hear that, kind of hear it start to wind down after a bit. Oh boy, okay. Yeah, that missile did nothing for me. Definitely gives an F-Zero vibe, yeah. Definitely does with the, the kind of the high speed and the wide tracks and the, and the sort of futuristic setting they got here. Okay, I got, got the Swarmer rockets. To get up close, I need to get up closer. Give me the green, we got the green. Only fourth still. Oh, now I'm third. All right, I'm definitely in a good spot to at least, uh, you know, get the passing position here. Woo! <laughs> Fought my way to second. Good stuff. Right. It'll definitely give me passing. This will be a pass, I'm sure. Got Sakura now competing, but it's okay. Ooh, that was a first. All right, look at me. <laughs> Second place was not that close. Items now. Now we're at the ultimate race. So this one's pretty interesting, like, um, still, still a race around the track, but now it's all about getting score, so now it's all about, you know, getting the offensive weapons, landing hits on your opponents, and also doing sick aerial tricks to build up your score a little bit more.
So yeah, even if I'm in the back of the pack, it doesn't matter too much. What what matters is that I I do sick tricks and uh, you know land hits on my opponents with the uh, weapons I got. The thing about these these vents is that sometimes they're very reticent to actually put me in range of. Uh, oh, I'm sure that would have been a a sick sick trend sick uh, trick there how they managed to land it. Give me a lock on, give me a lock on, baby. Cars kind of remind me of those old toys that, that when they flipped, they could keep going. Oh, I remember those. Yeah, I remember seeing adverts of those on the TV. Yeah, being flipped around was their their big gimmick. I think I think uh, my brother got one as a. Christmas present, a long time ago. I think we had we had some fun with it. But yeah, I, I definitely remember those, and they, they were at least fun to play with. You know, the whole the whole deal where they could they could keep going even if they were flipped around was pretty novel because. Uh, the, the classic RC cars would have to keep an eye on them. All right, I just need I just need a lock on. Give me a lock on. All right, maybe maybe with the next target. They're like it's like they're all going slow on purpose. Like they're all going slow on purpose so that I will overtake them and then cannot shoot them. Take that back. Wind it back. Maybe it's like in Mario Kart where last place goes faster to keep up. Ah, that would be a nice that would be a nice catch up mechanic. Said so it would be nice to have a, a target to shoot. Like right here. Totally stick at the Sarge if they stuck to the the road. Uh, maybe 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 Armina will be willing to give me something here. Yeah! Woo! Oh my God! Woo! Because <laughs> I because I blew him up. I blasted ahead in the ring stair. What do they call it? Rubber banding? Yeah, yeah, rubber banding. That's that's what they call it. Although most of the time you see you see it having like the reverse effect, right? It's like where you're, where you're in first, you're like completely kicking butt, and for some some reason, uh, your opponents are able to keep just keep a pace of you, right? No matter how much you're 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 like uh, you know clearing cor uh, clearing every corner well and all that stuff. It's like somehow they're keeping pace, just pulling every trick in the book to make sure. They're, uh, you know, you, you don't get ahead of them too far. Alright. <laughs> Currently first. Guessing position points. Oh, wait, there we are. Wow, just barely made it to first there. Hey, you know what? I'll take it. Yeah. Uh, rubber banding doesn't seem too bad in this game. If they, if they get ahead of you, they'll give you some chance to catch up to them. And if you're ahead of them, it Definitely doesn't feel like uh, they're always uh, marching up on you like every second or so. So then again, this is easy difficulty. So who knows? There's still still a chance for them to just ratchet it up, right? It's a, still a chance for them to just ratchet up that rubber banding. But for now, it's manageable, and we're in a good position for this ultimate race here. So even if we come out somehow blow it, we could still get enough to advance.
Of course, it's like this cluster here where it would be most important for you to grab a pickup so you could get some quick points by hitting some folks in the face, but I always seem to be driving in the same lane someone else gets to pick up, so I've got to like sit without pickups for a while and then... Ugh. Alright, I got a shield. I mean, it's, it's something. It gives me a defensive option. I'll hang on to it. A boost. Not quite what I need. Oh, wait! No, this isn't an ultimate. This is just a race. Okay. That's why I'm getting a boost. Never mind. <laughs> maybe I, maybe I should have been reading. I should have been reading what race type it was. Pretty sure I read the tournament information before and was definitely ultimate race than uh, classic race. So it's probably on me for not for not reading the race info. Okay. Well. All right. So definitely race position is like everything. It's all about the race position in this mode. Ah, man. So I definitely want to hang on to my shield. The off chance I get something locked on to me. in 10th place after all that. Seriously. Am I seriously getting lapped by everyone? Is that what's happening? I would kind of suck if that were the case. Wrong way. What are you talking about? Oh, wait. Now I'm 4th. Now I'm 3rd. Now I'm going to go back to 10th. Or 8th. I mean, it's not marketably better. Oh, now I'm 9th. I think we're we're close to the finish. Ah! Oh. Trying to smack into a thing there. There it is, the finish. No wonder it's only two laps. So much happens so quickly. <laughs> Wait, I got ninth. Oh, well, it means I'm getting at least 200 points. Whatever. If I get 7th or better, I'm... I'm considering this a victory. But yeah, the swings are wild and yeah, there's a lot of chaos and... Uh, a, lot of, a lot of track you go through, even if it's only two laps. Alright. Here's about tiebreaks. So placed 4th. Hey, you know what? That's uh, that's an advancement. So I want, I'll, I'll I consider that a win. First rivalry, classic race, easy difficulty, one opponent. At the end of each campaign tier, you must win a versus battle against your biggest rival of the tier. You cannot proceed to the next tier until you've defeated this rival. Pump those tires, stock that ammo. It all comes down for this for you to move on. Let the good times roll. Well. I can kind of dig this a one-on-one -on -one duel. I always liked duel races. I think I might have mentioned this already, but yeah. The intensity of uh, two two racers kind of going neck and neck. As they both, you know, jockey for first position. And, you know, they trade between the positions. And then you add weapons in here. It just gets even crazier. In case... Uh, Magnus. Yeah. You would be my rival. Alright. Let's do this. So this is a classic race, I assume. Yep, we got pickups, baby. That means I should definitely keep a shield stocked, because there's no way they're gonna not have this guy launch missiles at me. Yeah, okay, I got a shield. Hang on to that. That's the thing about these types of races when you're at first, right? You always gotta be like, oh, I gotta make sure I got... A shield or at least a mushroom or something to, you know, get me back into racing position once I inevitably get hit by a weapon like I did right there. But now they're going to pull ahead of me, but I have a weapon prepped for them. Say hello to my little friend. 
Ouch. My favorite race type has always been elimination, you know, like last place gets kicked out till it's one-on-one. -on -one. Ooh, I like that one too. Definitely a more condensed version of the races we all know and love, yeah. Definitely leads to a lot more intense battles. Okay, you know what, I'm just gonna restart. I had to, <laughs> I had to retry that section way too many times. Oof. But yeah, um... Lap knockout is like pretty good, but but I always like the elimination types where they have like a set time period where it's like you know every thirty seconds we uh, take a competitor out of the race. That's that ends up being a lot more exciting. Gah! Well, I'm on the lower section of the track now. Hopefully, that won't hinder me any. You see Magnus over there parkouring through the sky. I smoke him. I like how they have those red X's there. They knew they knew what they were going for. Anyone who wall rides will be dealt with. They will be punished accordingly. It's like they're saying, "Hey." Maybe take this curve a bit more gently next time. Alright, at least keeping pace with Magnus here. I think Magnus actually fell off. We'll take that W for now. Oh, shields! Haha, <laughs> nice try, Magnus. <laughs> Pop my shield just in time. A second later, a, s a tenth of a second later, and I would have been eating it. Alright, we're doing okay for now, but hey, it's only one lap. Things could still change. Uh. You know, the saying goes, uh, remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. I can hear him. I can hear him. There they go. Ah, oh, dang it. Okay, mental note. Swarmer rockets do not do well in curves. I just uh, need to get a straight enough position with which... Uh, if I could just like stop bumping into everything, that would be a good start. At this point, they've built a considerable lead on me. I don't even see him anymore! What the heck? I know this is a one-on-one, -on -one, but it's supposed to be easy. Not supposed to gain- oh wait, no, I'm in first. I just realized I'm in first. <laughs> okay, you know what, I'm okay. I'm doing okay. I panicked for nothing. Must have fallen off the track at some point. Wow. Hey, you know what? First is first, right? I'll take it. I'll take it. Eat it, Magnus. I am I'm the true champion racer of this tier. I win. Unknown has been defeated. Tier 4 unlocked. Ram Rider pickup now unlocked. This power up pushes nearby opponents out of your way and grants a small speed boost. Ooh, it's like a it's like it's like a boost with a push. And that's all they unlocked for this tier. <laughs> okay. Alright, well, you know what? We, we got through three tiers of racing. I think, uh, it's been, that's been pretty good progress. Mm. You know what? 
I I enjoy this game. I might I'll, I'll probably come back to this next at least next week. We'll, we can check it out some more. I can see I can see now they have well we're at a uh, normal difficulty now, so they're starting to bump it up a little bit. I assume it's gonna be like every three tiers is gonna be a difficulty jump. So we'll go to hard starting tier seven if we get there. Who knows? Maybe maybe here's where they start handing us our asses or something. Yes, uh, but for now, I think I will, uh, will call it here. Yeah, let's gonna look at Grip. Do you have a schedule I'd like to keep up when you stream? Yeah, yeah, I got a schedule. Uh, yeah, if you, uh, click on the schedule link, or you could go to my Twitter account, and I have a schedule pinned there. Um, or you could check it out on YouTube. I have a schedule pinned on the community tab there. But yeah, yeah, I have a schedule. Um, yeah, next next stream is gonna be on Friday, and we're gonna be playing Pentiment. That's a, a medieval style adventure game. I've actually been playing that for a couple of weeks now, and we're we're kind of reaching the end of there. We're 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 reaching a climax point for that. I don't know if uh, we'll, we'll probably f reach a conclusion to that like uh, either next stream or a stream after that. But but yeah. Yeah, if you want to keep up with me, you can you can check out the schedule by clicking on the schedule link on Twitch or or you can check it out on Twitter and YouTube as well if if you go there more often. But uh, for now, uh, I think that will do it for this stream. I want to thank everyone for stopping by, thanking everyone for tuning in. Thank you for all the follows. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, I'll be back on Friday. Uh, same time to play through Pentiment. Continue playing that. Uh, we're reaching a conclusion there. Uh, hopefully that will give us the answers to the mysteries that remain. Um, yeah, so thanks. I'm gonna... Let's see if we can... Let's see who is on to raid now. Yeah, unfortunately this game is one of those types that does not continue playing when I tab out of it. It's, it's funny, right? It's like, when I'm playing by myself, I, I like a game that mutes itself when, um, when, I, when I click out of it, but when I'm streaming, I much prefer to keep playing, at least have something in the background, but in this case, uh, that is not the case here. On right. Yeah, a lot of people playing Destiny Two. I think that that got I had like the n new expansion come out too long ago, so I guess I can understand why people back into that. I think I play like the beta of. Destiny, Destiny One, like really, really long time ago it was one, but really didn't continue after that. From what I looked of it, probably not much that would have enticed me. Kind of a shame, right? Or me wonders if Destiny was just like a single player game instead of their attempt at live service, maybe. Uh. Just to hook me in. The new expansion came out like two days ago. Ah, okay, yeah, that that would make sense. That would make sense. Hmm.
I'm still side. Oh, sometimes I get a little bit decision paralysis. Oh man, here to this time or trying to trying to raid into a variety of folks. Okay, I think I have decided. So, uh, yeah, let's go. Let's go read Zephyril XR. Looks like they are celebrating a one their one year anniversary. Ooh, good on them. Yeah, why don't we go say hi to them? Yeah, if you're if you're gonna uh, join in on the raid, uh, hit them with like a maybe anti grav raid. Yeah, let's go with go with anti grav raid. And if you're not, uh, have a good rest of uh, your day, morning, afternoon, evening. Um, yeah, see you Friday for Pentiment.